السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته today I will take you back to الحكمية time and to show you how did we used to celebrate عيد الفطر عيد الفطر for us was very unique and for me was very unique as well and most important thing for me on the عيد is my brand new clothes and my brand new shoes I used to go shopping with my mother to different shops to find the suitable thing that I can wear on the Eid day. Most of the Egyptian children at that time used to put the brand new clothes next to them on the bed and put the shoes sometime next to the pillow. Because they were a little bit scared that they wake up in the morning and find the clothes had been taken by others. So, and we used to have a sleepless night at that night. On the morning, we used to go early with my mother to the graveyard to visit our beloved ones. And by the time we arrived to the hall where our graves uh, were, the Quran reciter used to come to us and start reciting Surah Yaseen, start reciting Surah Al-Fatiha, and my mother used to give them uh, cakes, dates, and money. Another important thing we used to have on the day of Eid is the Eid bonus from our relatives, which you call it in Arabic Aidiyya. And our relatives, when they come to the house, they used to give the children 5 pence, 10 pence, 25 pence, or 50 pence, which was very rare. We're very happy to receive all this. And the good thing about the Bank of Egypt at the time used to, to, to print millions and millions of banknotes of this small amount because they knew that everyone would go to the children and give them the 5 or 10 or 25 pence uh, aid bonus. We used to take this money and go and uh, play, hire a, a bike, or go to the swing, or go to buy some firework and enjoy ourselves for the whole day or go to buy some sweets or go to the cinema or go to يعني, spend some of this money some of us spend the whole money for eight ends and some of us save some of this money there's another thing which we need to talk about is, is how the family and the house was preparing itself for the eight day by preparing eat cakes biscuits Cookies, cookies, plain cookies, cookies with the Turkish delight, cookies with uh, dates inside it, and Betty Four, and Shakalama, and, 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 and all these sort of things. But at that time, because we did not have oven at home, we did not have uh, water gas or uh, cooker at home, uh, we used to carry this big trays, black one, after we put all the cookies and the cakes inside it, and go to the bakery and stay till they bake it for us and bring it back. Uh, the, the, the beautiful thing is, if you walk on the road at that time, you feel, you, you smell the beautiful smell of the baked cakes, bitty four, biscuits and the others. And everybody was not sleeping at night because every household was was us baking all these Eid cakes. On the Eid day as well, we used to have somebody called the Masaharati to come to every flat. And Masaharati is what the man with a drum and the stick and singing at night to wake everybody for Sahri and before Fajr prayer. And used to come in the morning and knock the doors and ask for some yani, uh, Eid bonus. We used to give him money as well as some of the Eid cakes. Eid at that time was something special for all the children because we were very close to one another, very close to our families, very close to our friends, very close to our relatives, and we really used to enjoy it wholeheartedly from our heart. I feel sorry for our children nowadays who have been distracted by the technology and the games and the others and they don't enjoy the swing or the hiring the bike 
the motorbike, uh, no, not the motorbike, the bicycles, or uh, going to this kind of traditional uh, amusement that we used to have at that time. I wish that you like the video, and if you like it, please share it with your colleagues.